Hey guys, RJ here, and I just want to say that this video is kind of a bit of a poor video, I'm just going to warn you now. It's kind of like, not really, really bad, but it's just a thing of like, the, because the transfer window's ended, which you kind of saw at the start of the video there, um, not a lot actually happens much in this video, par games being played and results being shown and stuff like that. So, um, this video ain't really going to be up to the usual standard usually, but I didn't want to skip this video out, especially with like last season now I missed quite a few um, videos out because my PVR was messing up and stuff. Um, hopefully that's been sorted now so that shouldn't happen this season, but nevertheless, I was I definitely want to put out as many videos as I can to do with this series as I'm really enjoying doing it and everything like that. But um, like I said, most of this is about games because there ain't really much been going on. I didn't even get like any emails off my um, youth um, scout person to say that he's found anyone or anything like that. So it was just pretty much that games come really quick and fast and there weren't really much I could do about it to be honest. And I think my players kind of suffer a bit from these games. A lot of them get tired really early on and I think the input of Kinechi was really important to the um team so far and as you saw in the first game I think it was he actually scored the winner he actually seems like a pretty decent player to be honest he's a German striker but I think he can play in like right wing and centre attacking mid and stuff like that he seems like a really quality player they'll hopefully um, play really well and he actually started really well in these games here and I think he grabs two goals in as many games I'm not so so sure how many games he actually starts to be honest but um, he's playing really well at the moment and as well as my usual performers like Taylor and Mussino um, and Bradshaw um, Chris Eva who's my obviously young youth player seems to be playing quite well and I give him quite a few chances in these games and I have been picking him over right um, in right mid position the main and particular reason for this is just that I feel like he's playing really well and I don't want to obviously stop someone from having a chance of doing well when they're playing well. So I've been playing him quite a bit. He's been playing quite well. Um, just trying to think who else has been playing well, to be honest. Um, Smith, my left back, has been playing really well. My right back, the one with a really long 4 well, I don't know how to say his name, but apparently I think he was playing quite well. But then I had to look at the team report, which I guess I should have shown um, on here, but I didn't. And he actually says that he's not playing too well. So I kind of think sometimes that the um, like team report doesn't necessarily re like respect or reflect even how the um, team's playing. As sometimes I think players can be playing really well and yet not get that much of a good form rating or stuff. Like last season, Smith, the goalkeeper. Um, I only mean, got like a 6.7 rating and I thought he was at least like 7.5 or something overall because like how good he was playing and stuff like that. But um, I don't know, and right and people like that don't get maybe so much higher rating. But I think it just depends on how you play and obviously if a player plays and he scores then he gets obviously a higher rating or something. And if they come on as subs then obviously the rating suffers a bit because they don't play a whole game so they can't get too much of a high rating in general it kind of seems to be limited to a certain level but as you're talking about subs as you can see it right actually come on and got a goal for me which is really important to be honest in this game as my goal for season's kind of to finish 7th to 10th um and that is because i want to obviously meet my goals but at the same time this season's basically a foundation for next season where i'm going to try and get promoted and possibly try and win the johnson's paint trophy but this season's just a foundation for that, so I was kind of like trying to buy, buy, I don't know, get my squad better for that season. But I'm going to end this video here, as I think maybe the last game shown or the results table even. But I was going to say, sorry for this bad quality episode, but hopefully that'll be better next time. Thanks for watching again. Peace.